What's going on guys? So today was the Apple event. I cannot believe it is already September. That is just mind blowing that we're already here and we're checking out new iPhones. But today's event was titled Far Out. Obviously hinted to some satellite capabilities with the new iPhone and even an Apple Watch Ultra. That's really cool. But yeah, we had new phones today, new Apple Watch stuff, Apple Fitness things and some AirPods Pro. So let's go ahead and do a quick recap of this event and tell you my thoughts about it. The first thing we'll talk about real quick is Apple Fitness Plus. So normally you would have to have an Apple Watch in order to use Apple Fitness Plus even though it was a paid subscription. But now what Apple is going to allow us to do is all we need is an iPhone. So as long as you have an iPhone, you'll be able to subscribe to Apple Fitness Plus which kind of makes sense, but yeah. So if you have an iPhone, you'll be able to subscribe to that. You no longer have to have an Apple Watch because obviously the Apple Watch was better at fitness tracking and all that. I guess it kind of made sense to have an Apple Watch, but if you don't, that's totally fine. And it says it's available later this fall. So I imagine here in a couple of months, once iOS 16 has been out for a little bit, they'll push out an update and you'll have access to that if you want it. Next thing here is AirPods. So Apple has announced the AirPods Pro second generation. So we can now uh, have better audio quality, better spatial audio, immersiveness, all that good stuff. And that's all thanks to the new H2 chip. So they now have this new chip in here and it is what uses all the algorithms and basically magic to create a good sounding headphone and also allow for the better sound and uh, noise cancellation and all that good stuff. So Apple says you actually get two times more noise cancellation. What did I just say? Cancel is it? Cancel. I can't even say it. You know what I'm trying to say, but you'll get two times better performance on that and a better seal and just all sorts of good stuff. Uh, here so yeah new airpods pros are now available for you so you can pick those up if you would like now let's talk about some apple watch things so obviously we expected the series 8 and the sc to be updated also they decided to update the hermes apple watch since it's based off of series 8 of course but we now have a new apple watch ultra which is really cool i, I wasn't expecting this uh, today, but this is going to be like a rugged, durable, tough Apple Watch. But we'll talk about that one here in just a moment. Let's talk about a few changes to the Series 8. So, overall, to me, it doesn't look like there's too much different here. If you have a Series 7, or I would argue, like me, even a Series 6, I don't really see the need to upgrade uh, to the Apple Watch Series 8. But really, the main things here, of course, are software changes, which most Apple Watch owners will get. But a few other features here is we have some new colors and things like that and bands and all that. The main new thing here is the temperature sensor. So now we have a temperature sensor that's located in the back glass along with the heart rate monitor and different things like that. And this is actually gonna be used for the cycle tracking feature. So it's gonna be able to predict the cycle tracking more accurately and the temperature sensor is going to also work while you sleep so you can see the different changes uh, over time but I'm sure that'll be utilized with more features um, and different health related things in the future but for now that's all you're really going to get uh, with that and the next thing here is actually something that's available on new iPhones as well your watch is going to be able to detect whether or not you've been in a car crash. So it's going to use the accelerometer. It actually says 256 G's of impact, which is apparently like a car crash. I did not know that. Uh, but it's really cool because your watch will be able to detect that and call emergency services, especially if you're not able to uh, after a crash. So that is a nice handy feature as well but really other than that there's nothing else really new here 
A lot of it, like I said, is software features. We'll see uh, low power mode, which will be coming as well. But yeah, a lot of that is software related things. And when you take a look at the Apple Watch uh, SE, it's basically the same kind of features, really. You get that crash detection, and that's about it, I believe, on the SE, actually. It's just crash detection because you won't get uh, that sensor. That's a specific Series 8 feature. So, yeah. But good news here is the SE is an absolute bargain of a device now. It starts at 249 so if you've been thinking about an Apple Watch, uh, I highly recommend not only that you try one, but you get a SE uh, model because it's relatively affordable. I know 250 bucks is not affordable to everybody, but it's a great way to try out an Apple Watch. And especially since the beloved, <laughs> I'm just kidding, the, the Series 3 has finally been discontinued. You can no longer purchase the Series 3. Let's talk about this Ultra Watch though. This is really cool. I think this is a great idea. There is a market out there for this kind of watch. A very durable, rugged, tough, you know, I can do absolutely anything with this watch. And that's what they're marketing this for. Adventures, athletes, people like that. It's a unique design. It's much larger looking and kind of more squared off. It's got a lot of unique, cool features like this Wayfinder watch face with night mode. I mean, look how cool that looks. <laughs> That's really cool stuff. Uh, it's got a bigger speaker on the side of it, orange uh, accent on the button on the side. It even has a 76 decibel siren, which is kind of cra Oh, my bad. 86. <laughs> that's a little siren in case you need some help. I mean, that's pretty cool. Also, you get better battery life with this, and if you use the low power mode in the version of Watch OS, you get up to 60 hours of battery life. I do like the way the watch looks. At first, when I saw it, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about that. But now, once I've looked at it a little bit, I think it's very cool. It's very unique. I have a feeling though it's going to be more like a status symbol than people actually going and beating this thing up. But I don't know. We'll have to see how people use it and it's going to be interesting to see them actually put it uh, to the test uh, once it comes out. But there's a lot of unique bands for this particular watch as well and a lot of unique watch faces that kind of implement things like the compass and and all that kind of stuff um, and really cool you can use the side button to create a waypoint at any time so yeah I mean it's really really cool I'm, I'm really a fan of this watch you even have a literal scuba diving computer like full dive I mean <laughs> is this not the coolest thing I'm a big fan of this will I buy one no uh, I'm not gonna pay eight hundred dollars for this watch and yes that's how much it costs is eight hundred dollars it starts at 799 as you can see right there um, and there's several different bands that you can choose from bands are really cool looking ocean band yeah and of course it has all the apple watch uh, series 8 features as well so i really like this orange alpine loop and it only comes in one case size, which is 49 millimeters. Yeah, really, I mean, that's a unique watch. I do like that, um, and I think it'll be a big hit probably, so. Okay, now the star of the show, of course, is iPhones. So we have some changes to the iPhone lineup. First off, if you look up here, you're gonna notice that you can actually still purchase an iPhone 12. <laughs> kind of crazy and iPhone 13 but what we're missing is there is no longer a mini version I know it's kind of sad I love the iPhone 13 mini I was so close to almost buying one but I ended up getting the 13 Pro uh, and man so it's kind of sad to see that one go but 
we have the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro. Let's take a look at 14 uh, first here. Overall, 14, it's really not much different than the iPhone 13 was. Uh, if you take a look at it, what you're going to notice is a new size. So they have brought back the plus size for the phone. That's awesome. I'm glad they're using the plus name. Very cool. So you can now get a large, normal iPhone again if your heart desires. Of course, the SOS by satellite, that was kind of the hint for naming this thing far out uh, today. So you'll actually be able to uh, use satellite to call if you're in a remote area with no service. So that's pretty cool. Battery life has also been greatly improved uh, on this phone as well. And yeah, the Mercy SOS will be available uh, in November. Also, like I said, you'll get crash detection on your phone as well. And battery life has been improved. You should get 26 hours of video playback in 20 hours. Uh, so obviously a bigger uh, battery in the Plus model. So that's very nice. But yeah, overall design though, I mean, it's really not much different. Um, another cool thing is the new camera mode here. So you can have a very steady uh, camera, which definitely is going to make it look more like a movie uh, in the cinematic mode there. But yeah, overall for 14, it's pretty much it. Uh, oh yeah, no SIM tray. Good luck with your eSIMs working properly. Anyways, let's take a look at the 14 Pro. This really makes me regret buying my 13 last year. I should have kept my beloved iPhone 10 for another year, but oh well. Uh, what's, what am I going to do about it? I don't know if I've decided whether or not I want a 14 Pro. I don't think I'm going to do it, but no promises. <laughs> Let me know though. I might do it anyways just for uh, video purposes only. Well, yeah, so you're going to notice right away your notch is gone. <laughs> it, to me, this looks like it is the same size notch as like what I have on my 13 Pro. It's just been separated from the top and it's actually in the screen now. Also, it's round. So, well, yeah, I mean, it is round on the other phone. Okay, never mind. Just ignore how I said that. But yeah, look at that. How cool is that? And this phone also has the always on display. I knew they were going to do that. That's what I really want the most is the always on display. Uh, but yeah, so basically same kind of design and structure and materials as my 13 Pro. But look at this thing. And this is, okay, I'm not going to lie. This is kind of genius. I mean, who thought to integrate the quote unquote notch? It's not a notch anymore. We're getting there. But who thought to integrate that into software? I mean, that is such a cool idea. And here you go. This is the most Apple-y, Apple name I've ever seen. <laughs> Dynamic Island. I did not, I cannot believe they named it that. But anyways, it's cool. It's a really, really good idea. It integrates with software and different apps to show you different things when you need it. And then also the always on display. Oh man, I love the always on display. Obviously this is gonna make iOS 16 more enjoyable because you'll be able to put different widgets and things on your home screen and you'll be able to see that without picking your phone up or touching the screen or whatever. I mean, it's so cool. I uh, really do like that uh, with that. Also the display is apparently much brighter, two times brighter. And then of course you can call by satellite like you can with your iPhone 14. You also have crash detection. And the pro camera system has been upgraded a lot as well. You now have a 48 megapixel main camera. So you're gonna get quite some crispy photos out of this thing. It's gonna be really cool to see those tests uh, start coming out. But yeah, new 48 megapixel camera on there. And of course, improved uh, telephoto and macro lenses. 
as well. You also have 24 frames per second, uh, 4K video. You'll be able to shoot ProRes and all that good stuff. And then, of course, the cinematic mode as well. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it uh, for this video. Uh, that's what I think. A little recap about today's event. I really like that 14 Pro and that Apple Watch Ultra. That stuff is pretty cool. Well, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite product was today that was announced. And I will catch you all in the next video.